is a traditional tale. Over the next few weeks, we are going to explore a fairy tale that you all know. But before we tell you what that is, let's talk about what a traditional tale might be. We come from a storytelling tradition, and most of the earliest tales, all of the earliest tales, were told and not written down until much later. We have myths, creation myths, that are the oldest stories, the stories that talk about how things be began. Every culture in the world has their own creation myths. What creation myths does your culture have? What stories have people told where you're from that help explain the unexplainable, why the sky is blue, why there is thunder? Myths, they're traditional tales. Legends are also traditional tales, legends set in a historic time, often debated as to whether they're factual or not, often hero stories, Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox. That's a legend. Can you think of any legends in your culture? Fables are also traditional tales, and the thing that makes fables special is they often have a moral and there are often animal characters and inanimate objects that take on the characteristics of humans. Can you think of a very famous author that wrote a lot of fables? Aesop, Aesop's fables. Many of you have heard of those, but again, there are fables that come from cultures around the world. And then we have folk tales and fairy tales. They often have Stock characters, especially fairy tales, things are in three, there's a magical element, and the thing that's interesting about fairy tales is that you can find the same basic story around the world, maybe change through the telling, maybe change through the culture over time, but you'll find out that there are basic fairy tale stories that almost everyone knows. And next time, we're going to talk about one of those, Little Red Riding Hood.